You will find the work rules and the service objectives in the Field Service Admin section. Let's review the work rules themselves. Active Resources is a simple rule that will make sure that you're scheduling to the resources who are actually activated in the system. The due date will be the rule that controls and enforces the fact that the service appointment must complete by the due date timeframe. The earliest start permitted rule will make sure that the appointment never begins before the time that was promised to the customer in a case where an appointment booking is actually booked. Excluded resources rule is the one that naturally controls that the resource that was marked as excluded on a specific account will not be scheduled for consecutive work. The finish rule will make sure that the arrival will happen no later than the promised window time in an appointment. The match skills rule assures that the work is assigned to the properly qualified individual. In scenarios where you need to manage skill levels as well, check the match skill level boolean and it will assure that the consideration is taking place. Match territory will control the assignment of work only to the resources that belong to an actual territory. So if you have a customer in Los Angeles, the match territory rule will make sure that it schedules only mobile resources that actually belong to the Los Angeles service territory. Maximum travel from home allows you to control the distance that you would allow a mobile resource to travel when going to the first assignment and when returning from the last assignment. You can control it as a distance or a travel time. Required service resource is the one rule in situations where you have to assign a particular individual that is marked on the account as required to the relevant service appointment. This is particularly relevant in scenarios of the healthcare industry where a certain caregiver must continuously tend to the same patient. Resource availability is one of the rules that has most configuration options. Let's review it in detail. Field Service Lightning is able to consider break times. So if you would like to incorporate a particular time frame for your mobile resources to take a break during the day without enforcing a specific start time, but rather implementing it between service appointments when optimal, this is the place to configure it. The break start is the earliest time that that particular break may begin. The system may schedule it later on, in between appointments. However, this is the earliest it will strive to schedule towards. You can also configure the actual duration of that break, whether it's 30 minutes, 45, or beyond. An important topic to consider with the field service operation is when mobile resources are actually expected to arrive on site. If one's availability begins at 7 a.m., does it mean that he or she would need to be on site at 7 a.m. or start driving towards their first job site from 7 o'clock and on? If the first answer is correct, you promise and you expect to start work on someone's site at 7 a.m., this means that the mobile resource will be expected to drive at their own expense before their actual availability begins. This is the place where you can configure in minutes how much of that private time before the availability begins and ends may be allocated for the system to consider drive time. In scenarios where overtime exists, where operating hours certain time frames are marked as overtime, this is the place where you want to check in order for the system to be aware and take that into consideration. In some instances, a minimum gap must be provided between one service appointment and another. For example, when a medical appointment takes place and you want to make sure that the doctor has enough time between one appointment and another to complete the paperwork, same goes for sales appointments and many other scenarios, this is where the fixed gap boolean should be checked. Once that boolean is checked, configure how long that gap should be. Resource availability is probably the most important rule that must be present in your scheduling policy regardless of how many of these deeper dive functionality is actually activated. This is the one rule that you really want to have in place for your scheduling policy to make sense and work properly. Service appointment visiting hours 
are used when your customers, the end customer that receives the service from the field service operation, is limited. For example, in a retail environment where you need to fix an elevator, chances are you would prefer to do it after hours when the mall or the store is closed. The customer account will have visiting hours configured using the operating hours object. Activating the service appointment visiting hours rule will make sure that the system takes that into consideration. Once you have this rule in place, even if you run a 24-7 operation, the system will never schedule a service appointment to an account outside of the visiting hours configured for them. The start rule will make sure that the appointment does not begin before the promised appointment time frame. In certain scenarios, you would like to allow your mobile resources to work in more than one service territory. This is where the primary and the secondary territories come to play. In such scenarios, you will want to deactivate the match territory work rule and instead activate the working territories rule. Once that rule is activated, be sure to check this boolean in order to make sure that the primary service territory of each mobile resource is also taken into consideration.